Hello, dear my friend. Welcome to my channel today. And today we are going to talk about the overview of homely chart. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I'd like to introduce this line to all of you. This is line, this line we called it, uh, we use it for drawing lines or marks. Like for example, the first one is helping to draw a line like here. And the second one is, is the line which is different from this line because it is like, it can, um, you got two point and it can have the line for further and this mathematically. And the third one is a parallel line. And this one is actually for for us to get the channel upper, I mean upper channel and downward channel. Like uh, for example, for example here, this is a upper channel line here. For yeah, right. This is the upper trend, up trend, and we have an upper channel here. So this is the upper channel line, and for another example, the downward channel channel line here, and we will parrot parrot the it like here. This is down trend, downward trend. Okay, so the third one is uh is for gun line. It help us to have the the ankle for the up trend and down trend. For example, we will have it from got a low point here and it shows apparently. So and for this one it's golden section. This is also help you to uh have the have a have a golden percent in the in the uh in the stock. So we have a like golden section from we get a low point and take it in with the and take and have another high point which will divide this I mean which will divide this uh, upper trend middle upper trend into several percent and the six sixty one point eight percent is quite important. Okay, this is for gold golden session and uh, extended golden session. It's um, uh, we have a low point, for example, and we uh, take a low point to a high point here. Then we will see uh, it. One hundred, the 100% is here and it will have another 200% here. So normally uh, after the 100%, it, the, the, the price will go, if the price was just upward breaks through the 100%, it will go to uh, this line and you all the, uh, all the percentage here will give the price, the, uh, the, the, the pressure for resistance and and there's a lot of lines and I uh, so I don't I'm not going to uh, introduce them one by one just want you to know this this is all for you to have to uh, draw some lines and also to help you to analyze this uh, how is this stock and and for this part is have different period like day d is day day chart and w is weekly chart and m is monthly chart and court q is quarterly chart and h is half year chart y is yearly chart 
and this C is custom chart. Okay, so we have we have it. And for this part, for the right part of homely chart, we can see something uh, which is where which uh, concluded all the in indicators of homely chart. Uh, let's see here. First of all, this is a time black hole, a time black hole. This one is help you to know uh, when if the if the if the stock need to change need to change its direction uh, from the aspect of time, because we know like for example we we always said uh, there's ten years gonna have a re gonna have a t gonna have a turning point for stock market. Uh, uh, that means like last time we have a bull market is 2008 and the turning point should be 2018 so 2018 so that means um it's gonna be a turning point and for another so if like before before i mean uh from between uh 2008 uh to 2018 it's a bull market that means here now it should be a big crash in 2018 it gonna turn it gonna have a turning point to change its direction from bull market to bear market this this sign is just made it's just made from the aspect from time uh that means if this showed that means from the aspect from time the 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 um the stock should change the stock should the trend of the stock should change the direction okay and uh, like here or let's see here it also got a got a got one and here we also got one every time it shows that means the stock going to change its direction okay Let's have another one. Uh, that's blue fairy. Blue fairy is tell you the um the working area. To, I mean the the price of this stock, the working area of the price of this stock tomorrow. So you will know like the the uh actually the the price is gonna working between this buy point. To this sell point, but if uh, if you are going to sell this stock, then the, you it's better for you to have this 2000 uh the, the this two twenty two thousand five hundred five five fifty uh, one point seven nine six. The you should sell this stock at this price. Uh, it should be a high price in tomorrow. But if you are going to buy a stock tomorrow, then you will know the because the working area is between the buy point to the sell point, so you can have you can have a price as the sell the buy point here. Then you can buy the stock tomorrow and in a kind uh, and that price the buy the buy buy point price gonna be is going to be a low price in tomorrow so that that means we can actually buy in buy low buy in the low side and sell in the high side and this is for chips chips that uh, we have the chip chips description distribution chips uh chips distribution is helps uh, it just help us to uh, ha to know the resistance and the uh, support because it made it made by con um concluded or uh, it made by all kind uh, by um by the blue con blue columns the blue the longer the columns is the that means during the this price during this price area the more volume it is more and more people buy and sell buy their stocks at this price area so it 
easily to form a resistance and 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 support. For example, let's see. Um, for example, let's see this one. Um, we see at uh, at this period, the uh, the the longest blue column is this one. It's between uh, twelve thousand two hundred ninety four point one one four five two twelve thousand. 378.999 this work this press area um there are there are a lot of a lot of stocks is uh trade in between this price area so it's easy to form a, to form a resistance and support but here it seems like so every time when the press get close to this Price area it it being it being supported and goes up. So uh, that's the reason why now it's actually uh, the price is go is go down is is go getting close to this area again. So it's easy for this place to uh, give a support to the price. Okay, this is uh, chips distribution, and for this one, resistance and support, it just tell you it it it, it just tell you what is the uh, from the short term the resistance level, where is the resistance level and where is the uh, support level, and for the medium the the medium and long term also. Uh, the the where is the resistance level and where is the support level, and this is the uh, uh, the chip the chips. Okay, from this one it's a uh, back turn. Uh, uh, this is a banker turnover, but usually we don't use it, so I'm not so we we can just uh, escape it. And from this one is sign they have. All kinds of sign which is telling you this is a buy point and that is the sell point. For example, this is we call it strong signal. See, strong signal when all the all the signal here are made be made are made because are made because of the overbought and the oversell. Uh, the I mean the philosophy of them are overbought and oversell when the red the red candle the red candlestick shows that means now it's already over uh, it's uh here is a chance and we should uh we it's an over sell so we should buy the price should buy the stock here and when it shows yellow when the candlestick is yellow that means it's over Bought over, bought or oversell already. Uh, it's overbought already. So here is the sell point. So the 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 red one means buy point, and the 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 yellow one means sell point. Okay. Um, for the rest of others, it's actually the same. Like uh, we um we have something else like uh. Uh, Taiji signal. It's also made by this. Like when it shows, when the price is uh sh when the price. Uh, let me show you uh, a part a period of time. Like here, when the price shows, the price sh shows per shoes blue that means the uh for this stock is overselled so it's going to have a chance so here is the buy point when you buy it and uh, you can see here it's all it shows a yellow candlestick the yellow candlestick means it's overselled now so this is going here it's going to have a sell point so it's like um this is the for this i mean from the 
blue candle to the yellow candle is the profit we should make. Okay, this is uh this is about the the signal and yeah we have a lot for and we I mean my our members can figure out by yourself but they actually made by the same the 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 same philosophy so don't worry you know one you know everyone okay so uh the uh, another one is um is channels the channels is help you to know what kind of market now it is the uh because we have bull market and have the down uh, the bear market so and we also have the set way so from this part we can know uh we have the bull and bear channel like for example this one it, when if the price is working in the uh, I mean, there are actually two lines, right? If the 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 price is working in the upper line, in the upper channel, that means uh, this price is is a it's in a bull market. But if like this part, but if like this part, the price is working in a uh. uh in it, um, sorry, let me show you. Okay. Okay, this one. Uh, if the price is working in the uh in the lower channel here, that means. The, this stock is is working in a bear market. So this is the this is for uh, the the channel. And if the price is sideways, it will the price the if the price is sideways like uh, uh like okay like here. Uh, that means the 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 stock is going to um stock the stock is going to work uh between the white the white line and the blue one it it always working between this uh it, it is uh it's like uh, it not only work in the uh in the white line or in the white line and the and the yellow line or the yellow line and the blue line it works conf um conference frequently uh break through the yellow line so this is a side wave uh i should take an example for all of you but um let's see if we have a we have it here like yeah if like if for example the price is working like this fr the price frequently breaks through the yellow line and downward breaks through the yellow line and breaks through upward breaks through the yellow line and downwards breaks through the yellow line yeah and this is for the channel every every channel i mean every channel indicator is actually made by this philosophy, but the difference between boom, boom and bear channel and homely channel and X cha X S channel is they have different time. For boom and bear channel, it's for uh for kind of long term chain long term, and for the homely channel, it's um it, it's a uh, Basically, it's uh, for medium term channel and for X, XS is actually more, it's actually, uh, let's see, for example, the channel X, it's, yeah, it, it can, it also is for, it is suitable for long term and medium term yeah it's just the difference between them is just uh, 
the 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 time so we can figure it out by ourselves yeah you see this is much more uh the term the the, the time for homely channel is much more short than uh, the shorter than the the bull and bear channel and for homely position is something we actually have talked before so i'm not going to say something and for homely rainbow it's all an ma it's all it's all made by price it help you to know the trend now like yeah it, the the white one means long term and the the blue one that means long um medium long term and this the the yellow line means short medium time um term and for the long for the short term for the short term is red so it's very clear for us to see the the different the different time trend is now like for example this stock the long the direction for long term is uptrend and the the direction for the blue is is up as well so it so the mid and long term is uptrend as well and the the yellow it's the yellow is just the go um it just the go sideways so this is actually the short term mid short mid term is uh the sideways and for the for the um right right line uh it also is uh is 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 the direction for it is um sideways so for short term it also is uh, it is that is going to sideways so they it's easy to for me to know the direction of this stock right now from different time okay this is um the this is a uh, homely rainbow and today it's just introduce what what this in this in indicator should uh, be used in our daily life but we are going to figure out them one by one later okay and this is ma what's the difference be someone asked what's the difference between ma and uh, homely rainbow yeah as you can see homely rainbow i mean every color of of, of uh, rainbow line is is four lines it's actually um telling you it's a uh, uh, it the it's actually a uh, area the it's helping it, it show it is it showed people the uh different time uh different times um we should hold uh, if i do the long term trend that means i should at this time i should hold my stock and if i do the short term i should sell my stock it, it just help you to know this one it helped me to know my where is my cost and where should my hold my stock so it's different from the the the, the ma this is a place that ma different from homely rainbow okay so here like uh, uh, after that we will know the a as bird for chain as bird it's help us it's help it's going to helping us to know the the medium term trend and the short term trend it just help us to know the trend very exactly uh, and for the wave as bird wave as bird also telling us the red the red means the go the price going to go is up up trend the 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 green means the price is going to work in the downtrend so you may ask what's the difference between chain as bird and wave as bird and like bull and bear as bird it's all they all of them show people the 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 trend yeah the difference between them is like they are in different time 
they are in different time they should for they can be used in different uh different term like uh, for example for chain expert it is should for uh, medium term and short term but for weight expert a wave expert is should for, for medium term and for this one for ball and bear expert it should for medium long term and and also we have and we also have the buy and sell expert this is actually should be for more long term and for this one the box expert the box expert is should be for uh, for the stock which is in the set way well let me show you here yeah if the stock is going to have the set way then we will know the the working area of the price and if it is break break the box it, it going to uh, just break the, the the balance and the price is going to have a ha, going to goes up and after that it will need to have in a, another balance so the price is going to that way again and it's like uh, it, it will always turning over and over again um, okay and this is a division as per this one is helping us to know the the the, the capital with its flow in or flow out um uh, this one we actually have taught a lot so i'm not going to uh, say more things about this um indicator just introduce and for this one it's like a relative strength as per for this one we don't uh it's just telling you compared to the index uh is this stock strong or weak that mean the the green one means weak and the 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 red one means strong so now it's uh, for example when the when the 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 when the indicator shows red that means this stock is actually stronger than the index at this period of time. Okay, now after expert, we have introduced all of them, and then we will introduce the NT. NT just um just to tell you what is the price is work is working. So uh, you click it and you know very well to know the trend of the this stock. Uh, from the short term and medium term and and medium long term and long term uh, from every term. Uh, okay, this is Venus. Venus. Venus is something um, not that important, so uh, we are not. We just escape it. And uh, this is stimulative. Stimulative. It just uh, help you to uh, like pretend. To pretend we are going to have a one more day, one more day uh, candlestick, so we can pretend what is the high point like. Uh, uh, nine, 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 and uh, open it in with uh, like um, a, a, a yes, yeah. We will have it and add. Then we will have another stock stock in today, so we will know uh, better about the trend later. What's what's going to going on? Yeah. And for this one, it's uh, to know the uh, to know the basic fundamental news is about this stock. This one, the financial analysis, and for internal statistics, it's helping us to count uh, the count the how how much profit we can make. And uh, this one is for the man, the man, the man, dynamic, yeah, dynamic stocks is helping us to know uh, how. If if now the stock is overbought or oversell, like for example, we have the stock first. 
Okay, like for example, when the dynamic stock uh, chips shows red, that means this stock is oh, it's in the overbought sell area, so it's very dangerous. But but if the stock, if the dynamic the dynamic chips shows purple, like yeah, I'm looking for I'm looking for it. Yeah, it's like here. Uh, it, it actually have a very huge decrection, and the the dynamic chips showed purple. That means at this area, the price is in the oversold oversold area. So it's gonna have a chance here. Okay, this is dynamic chips, and uh, oh, let's. So we don't really have a lot of this is for the sectors and uh, yeah we don't this is all the indicators in the in the right right bar here so we have it all and for this part is just in helping us to select the part we want to we want to uh, figure out very clear so I can click the analysis zone here. Yeah, and I will have it here, not being distracted by something I by the other other candlesticks that I don't want to see. Okay, this is all about the indicators. Hope uh, hope you all can learn something. Have hope you all can have the um overview overview about homely stock now. Okay, see you next week. Bye-bye.